2007, Walt Disney Animation Studios developed and produced Meet the Robinsons, which was actually very loosely based upon a 1990 children's story, A Day with Wilbur Robinson, as there are few connections between the computer animated film and the book besides a few comparisons. The movie itself focused on that of Lewis, a child prodigy whom was an orphan, never having known a family of his own, on his gifted intelligence often frightening potential parents away from adopting him. A project of his of the orphanage is that he is working on a unique machine to screw on his own memories for a particular memory of which when he was left at the orphanage as a baby by his birth mother, but hadn't perfected the machine yet. Through events in the film, Lewis brings the scanner to his school science fair, and at the fair he meets Wilbur Robinson, and through conversation he claims to be from the future. Wilbur mentions to Lewis that he needs to recover a time machine that was taken by a man wearing a bowler hat. At the fair, Lewis tries to display the scanner's abilities, but it's later revealed that it was tampered with by the mysterious man and causes the entire science fair to cause a commotion. Lewis leaves with the man, and unknown to Lewis himself, the bowler heart is revealed to be a robot named Doris, as it repairs and steals the scanner. Wilbur later meets up with Lewis at the orphanage, and asks for the scanner to be repaired. Lewis agrees to do so, only if Wilbur can prove to him that he is indeed from the future, as Wilbur does by taking Lewis in another time machine to the year of 2037, where technology has much progressed from the time that it was within Lewis's own era. During the time traveling, Lewis realizes that he could simply use the time machine to go back to the falls to learn details about his mother, but gets into an argument with Wilbur as the time machine crashes. Wilbur asks Lewis to use his knowledge to fix the time machine, as Lewis agrees, but only on the condition that they travel back to learn about his mother. The pair soon return to Wilbur's own home, and through events learn that Wilbur's father, Cornelius Robinson, helped create most of the inventions of the era, on meets the rest of Wilbur's family. Wilbur's family even offered to adopt Lewis, but later refuse after learning that he's from the past. Learning that Wilbur wasn't really going to help him by taking the time machine back to see his mother after he fixed it, Lewis left Wilbur and his family. Eventually, the mysterious man and Doris, the robotic bowler heart, approached Lewis and offered to take him to visit his mother if the scanner is fixed. But once the scanner is fixed through events in the story, the mysterious man reveals that Cornelius Robertson is actually Lewis's future self, and that the mysterious man himself was a grown-up version of Lewis's roommate Michael. Through events, he blamed Lewis for what had happened to him, and became a better person and was never adopted. Doris was actually a failed invention of Lewis's and both desired revenge against Lewis for the problems that they endured, and perceived Lewis to be the cause of their unhappiness. On deciding to steal the scanner and having Michael get credit for the creation of the scanner, he would get fame and reputation, as Doris would be mass produced by Michael. Ultimately, Michael himself would be portrayed by Doris, and once the hearts were to be mass produced, it would lead to them enslaving humanity and causing the demise of civilization. Lewis, through cross time traveling, vows to never create Doris and prevents the destruction of the future timeline. Wilbur also offers Michael a chance to join the family, but later flees, feeling shame for what he had done. Finally, Lewis gets the chance to see his mother, but upon witnessing her leave him at the orphanage, he doesn't approach her. Remembering the family on respect he eventually obtains as an adult, Lewis finally returns to the fair on making a difference by helping Michael on changing his fate. Upon the successful testing of the scanner at the fair, Lewis is later adopted, with him earning the new name of Cornelius. When released, the film earned 169 million US dollars from ticket sales 
against a budget of 150 million US dollars. Reactions to the film were mixed, as critics commented that the time traveling as well as the past and future versions of the same characters, even interacting in certain scenarios depicted within the film, caused some confusion among audiences. The film was considered average during its time and was eventually quickly forgotten due to the aspects of the film not necessarily making it memorable or relatable to audiences as well. Despite the fact that public reactions to the film, as well as neutral feelings of the characters within the film, there were plans for a sequel, which held the working title of Meet the Robinsons 2, First Date, but few details were ever released before leadership of Disney changed at the time and any future prospects for the Robinsons in terms of character development further, or a sequel to the film, were abandoned. Sometimes a character can be forgotten because the story was so complex, many thought it was confusing. 